It's just after high noon and the start of the daily lunch hour rush at one of the more charming places to eat in the Spokane Valley, the Corner Door. Located in the heart of historic downtown Millwood, Washington, the Corner Door, originally known as the Brown Building, was built in 1924 as a corner drugstore. Today, this nationally recognized historic landmark continues to serve its community well, thanks to the efforts of the Mott family, a lifelong Spokane Valley family that proudly owns and operates the Corner Door as a combination bookstore and popular soda fountain. It got started, I think, when they tore down the old West Valley High School. My sister was so upset, and this building went on the market, and she was worried somebody was going to buy it and tear it down. So her and her husband decided to get the finances together and buy the building. And then they had to find something to do with it. So they started a little cafe. And then they slowly brought in my brother to manage it. And we decided when I became free, I used to work at Walden Books, so I knew books, that we'd make it a bookstore as well. So it's a cafe and bookstore. Besides all the books, puppets, good food, and friendly atmosphere that make a visit to the corner door enjoyable, there is still something more. For most customers, that something extra is the extraordinary artwork that envelops you as you walk in the door. For many, there is nothing quite like having movie icons like Johnny Depp, Russell Crowe, or even David Carradine looking over your shoulder as you browse through books or enjoy a sandwich. Whether the subject is science fiction, fantasy, or it's a media portrait, all of the paintings on display at the corner door share something in common. They each represent the creative talent of Betsy Mott, who uses her time in between customers to produce award-winning works of art. Oh, his face is so well done. I'm self-taught. Around seventh grade, my sister dragged me to a paint at your own speed at the YWCA in oil painting. About high school, I decided I liked portrait. Really tough. But I wanted a painting of Richard Burton as Mark Antony from Cleopatra, and there wasn't one anywhere I could find. So I painted one, and it took me two months, and decided portraits were what I really loved to do. Despite Betsy's love and natural talent for art at a young age, it was still not her field of choice in college. Instead, she earned a master's degree in both literature and theater education. I was wholeheartedly into theater and I love theater, but I found you could put your whole heart into it for like the six weeks, do a production, and it was gone. And theater, you have to get together a crew of people. They all work together to form the product. Painting, it's up to me, and making sure it happens. Certainly the walls of the corner door are a testament to Betsy Mott's desire to make it happen, particularly after being exposed to the fun of sci-fi fantasy conventions in the early 1980s. It was there Betsy found her niche and a receptive audience for her portraits. Over the past 20 years since her first convention, Betsy has sold thousands of prints and won countless awards for her imaginative art pieces, all of which have helped to establish her as one of the best sci-fi artists in the country, as well as a convention favorite. Well, I take my paintings personally to about four or five a year, just Seattle, Portland, Tri-Cities, Missoula. But I send to another 30 to 40. There must be at least 100 nationwide, um, some really big ones. I send to Dragon Con every year, which is Atlanta, Georgia. And it's a juried art show. So you have to be considered good enough to even get into it. What has made Betsy's work more than good enough within the art circles of science fiction is her passion for detail. Recently, she has started using a new media other than oil paint that not only gives her the detail she desires, but also the freedom to paint at the corner door, either upstairs or in her cramped studio downstairs. Um, gouache is a type of watercolor. It's an opaque watercolor, and it's non-toxic. I can just paint my little heart out until the customer comes in for a milkshake. And it's got brilliant colors. A lot of the techniques are the same as oils. You can layer it and layer it and get it as fine a detail as you want. Each individual face is distinct and the reason it's distinct is it doesn't follow the rules. The eyes might be a little further apart, they might be a little different shaped and it's those details, fine details, that makes it really look like a person. While painting portraits in oil or gouache are Betsy's specialty, 
She also finds pleasure in producing detailed pencil drawings as well. We have a lot of wonderful landmarks out here. So I've done drawings of Spokane Valley landmarks that I've been working on for a fair number of years now and add a couple drawings to it every year. So it, it's another way to express my art and make allowances for customers going in and having to wait tables in between. In the world of sci-fi portraiture art, the challenge is to capture the essence of a character or a celebrity so people will respond. It's what inspires the work of Betsy Mott, and to her credit, she often gets it right. If you paint somebody's Uncle Alvin, the family likes the portrait and knows that it's right, but nobody else. Um, a media portrait, if it's Kevin Costner, Mel Gibson, you know, Johnny Depp, millions of people know if you've done it right or not. And when it's right, they want to take it home with them. It's a very human reaction to another person. That's what art is, is trying to express emotion. And if they get the message, then I've done my job in the best possible way. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.